Hudson Mohawk, Warp Records member and founder of the Lucky Me record label, one half of Tonight and famed for some of his classic releases in the electronic music scene. On August 1st, 2011, Hudson Mohawk put out his acclaimed six-track EP, Satin Panthers, which features the tracks Octan, Thunder Bay, Sea Bat, All Your Love, Thank You, and Silkworm. Wait, apparently Silkworm never actually came out on this EP. During 2011, Hudson Mohawk put out the Satin Panthers EP, known in particular for track 3, Sea Bat. The EP is considered a classic from Hudson's discography, and had a resurgence recently, specifically due to a recent viral Reddit post, which I'm sure you all know about by now. I won't talk about the Reddit post here on YouTube due to its subject matter, but if you for some reason don't know what I'm referring to, Google Seabat Reddit post and you'll get caught up very quickly, I'm sure. Prior to the EP's release, on the Hepcat radio podcast with Mamiko Motto, Silkworm was played at least twice, with the host mentioning during the song that it was slated for release on Hudson's Satin Panthers EP releasing on Warp Records in the coming weeks, meaning the song was planned for release on that EP and taken off only weeks or days prior to the release, which is a damn shame because I believe it's one of Hudson's best songs. Hadamo never stated anything publicly about the song being taken off the EP, and as far as I know, he's never mentioned the song, and it has only appeared on the radio podcast I mentioned earlier. The track has never been DJed live by Hudson, or anyone else on Lucky Me or Warp Records that's likely to have the song, such as Rusty. Or Lunas. The song is another piece of proof that Hudmo can make an addictive, epic track with some super clean, interesting production. As a matter of fact, the track is pretty simple, with only a few key elements, and did not require hundreds of different sounds and layers to make it sound interesting. It features Hudson's signature live sounding drums, as if he played them on an actual drum kit, but with a touch of weirdness added in to make them sound slightly unpredictable, and give a bit of sharpness and edge to them. Every so often throughout the song you can hear the these small vocal chops, as well as some other neat details and effects that appear throughout. The main draw of the track is the huge supersaw melody that gives the track this huge scale and room filling epicness that it radiates during the choruses. A particular highlight during the song for me is how Hudson builds the tension in the first build up, but where you think the tension is going to release with the start of the chorus, he actually holds the tension for another four beats by looping the chord before jumping into the chorus. It's a crying shame that Silkworm was never part of any of Hudson's compilations of his older unreleased music such as BBHE, Airborne Lard or Poom Gems. It's possible we may see the track released later in the future if he does more of those compilations, but it's unlikely. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this on any unreleased gems from other artists or producers in the future. That's about it. Now be sure to like and subscribe and all the other things everyone else on this site tells you to do. I'll see you next time.